Um, and so one of the things that I wanted to talk about to you guys is how to define your perfect customer. But before we go there, uh, um, I was right taking some notes. I hope you guys were taking some notes too about um, some of the things that, that I capture and I wrote down about what Mr. Chad Shapiro said um, about um, next level leadership, about uh, the skills times numbers equals results. And I think we all start at a basis where we say, hey, you know what? I have to make, I made a decision to become an entrepreneur, right? And if you made that decision, I think when you make a decision to become an entrepreneur, you are bringing to yourself more problems, right? And, and we, we do. We bring it, okay, now that I've become an entrepreneur, what do we do? What do we do? How do we do? What, what, what services do I provide? What um, product do I sell? What, uh, whatever you decide to do, whether you're in network marketing, when you're in affiliate marketing, whether you're in real estate, it's all the same for all of us. And like he says, we start at the bottom of the ladder, you know, so I cannot, uh, uh, that I use that all the time in my trainings because it's so true. And most of us, people quit, you know, and I put this picture in here for a reason. It says how to define your perfect customer. And no matter what service or industry you're in, you have a customer. And our biggest problem is that, you know, they, you see that the beautiful uh, city light, city uh, skyline right there, right? But you see all the water down there. And I love that because I call that, even though it's blue, I call it a red ocean. And the red ocean is because it's so much noise there. It's so much noise in social media, in the internet, in, in companies coming out and offering you the perfect solution, right? We all have the perfect solution. And, 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 and it's true, there's many, many companies that, uh, that provide great products. I look for companies in three things, leadership. I look for them in uh, products or services, and then definitely compensation plan, right? And if you guys have not seen the compensation plan with Next Level Leadership, you should take a look at it. I have been very much in, in promoting Next Level Leadership, and I'm gonna show you why and how. Uh, one of the things that I I, under, I had to understand, and this is for all of us, since we're here all leadership today is a VIP leadership training. So think about this, guys. What is our, if I want to, because I was thinking before I did the presentation, the, the training, I said, what industry do I want to focus on to give you an example? Well, we're in next level leadership, so we also offer leadership services, right? Entrepreneurship. So. One of the things that I did was, okay, well, I'm going to focus on next level leadership, right? How do you define your perfect customer? And, and I say customer because everybody that, even if it's a team member that you bring on board, a team member, you can define it as customer. Where's your perfect team member or where's your perfect customer at? You have to know where they're at because I see in the industry, too many of us are frustrated at uh, when we made the decision to become entrepreneurs, now we're like, okay, um, I, well, I posted on Facebook, and I don't know if you, if, if you guys have the same problem or it's just me, but sometimes you post on Facebook and you don't hear nobody uh, comment on it, right? Is it just me or is it just all of us, right? So it happens to all of us, and, and I'm excited to show you uh, some of the tools that I, I, I'm sharing with you that I've learned. I'm not that great. I've learned from great, amazing people like Mr. Chad Shapiro and his leadership um, in sales and, and, and training. I do a lot of, I pay for a lot of training for my marketing and sales because I want to be the, become the best at it. If you want to become the best at it, I have to be coached, like he said, right? I was, I was listening to him. You have to find those coaching, those people that we listen to. So there's somebody that's done it before and people that are being successful at, at leadership training, right? So I'm listening to him. There's also people that are great at sales, so I'm listening to them. There's some people that are great at marketing, so I'm listening to them. Hey, I know one thing, I'm not that great, okay? You are only great at those people that, that feed your mind, right, and your heart, and your, and your spirit. You're only as great as you define yourself to be. So what I want to show you guys, uh, let's go to the next one, is this. Ten questions to define your ideal customer. Boom! Who wants to know the 10 questions? 10 questions. So grab note, take some notes, guys. Take some notes. I promise you. I promise you. This will change your life when you understand your perfect customer. 
And a perfect customer, I'm going to define it in next level leadership. So let's just say I want to go to uh, uh, to uh, to understand it says, you know, I'm going to go all in with next level leadership, but I'm going to I need to understand who the heck do I talk to about next level leadership? You have to have the right person because you just can go in the middle of the street and talk to them. Man, you got you to gotta listen to this next level leadership stuff. And so they're like, you speak in the whole like he was talking about the, the, the other language. you like, they're not there. They're not there. And I think we can get frustrated because nobody, I'm not good enough. Nobody listens to me. It's not, it's not that you're doing, I, was, I'm t I took some notes for you guys and I want to share them with you. It's not that you are not good is that you're talking to the wrong person sometimes. And I think we can get frustrated if we don't understand that. Have any of you guys been frustrated with your business because you can't seem to find the right person? Or is it just me? It's all of us, it's all of us. I had the same thing, you know, and, and, and I'll be honest with you, about six months ago, I really went to understand is how do I define my perfect customer and my perfect, uh, business partners, because as business partners, I, I'll be honest with you, I don't want everybody anymore. I, I want to, I want to bring the right people in. And when I do my presentations in my business, I want it, I want them to understand that. I don't care for you jumping on board. I'm looking for leadership. I'm looking for those people who are hungry for success. That's why I use all this technology. So these ten questions are the following, okay? Because I'm, I gotta stay in time. They only gave me uh, a few of them. Okay, so question number one is this, where do they hang out at? So let's talk, we'll be talking about next level leadership, right? So next level leadership, are they on Facebook? Are they on Twitter? Are they on YouTube? They're on LinkedIn? They're on meetups. Where is that customer hanging around at? And we don't understand that, so we keep posting it in, in our feed, and we're like, um, nobody's listening. Well, because you're looking for leadership, but yet, you know, the, 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 our, most of the time when we start our business, we've had our friends and family members who don't care about leadership. They're like, what is that? What's next level leadership? Next level leadership. What does that mean? People don't even understand about leadership and, and, and what that is. So when you understand whether they hang around that, and, and, and here's some, some tips, okay? And we'll do another training on, on other things that I'm doing to identify that. But here's just a quick question you got to ask yourself. So here, write them down. And then put a piece of paper, maybe a spreadsheet, and start writing down. Where do they hang around at? Go on Facebook on the search bar and says, leadership groups. Let's go. Leadership group. Go join some of those groups. Start seeing what other people are doing. Um, Tony Robbins talks about if you want to be successful in life, study those people who are doing it great, like Mr. Chad Shapiro, who has amazing leadership skills. Who do you think I study? It ain't me. I didn't come up with, you know, uh, uh, skills time numbers equals results. I got it from him, right? I, I don't talk to my team all the time about being at the bottom of the ladder. I didn't get it from him. I found him. You know, we, we ran into each other one time, and it's the same thing. You know, to me, it was a, a perfect relationship, and I appreciate it, and I'm so humbled to be, you know, listening to somebody like him. But also, now you are a leader. And you got to go look for those leaders out there that need this. So where do they hang around at? Okay. Number two, where do they get their information? In other words, like let's, let's, let's say example, how many of you guys ran into Next Level Leadership by Googling it or Facebook or the Facebook feed or somebody sharing, right? And most people today are getting the information from either Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn. LinkedIn is very huge for leaders, leaders in there, guys. And let me tell you, I don't, do not be fooled because a lot of those people that seem to have it all together on, on LinkedIn, they don't have it together. It's just a profile picture. Okay? They're all going through the same struggle that we're all going through. Okay? So understand where do they get the information from. Okay? Also, what are their challenges? and frustrations that they have. If you don't know their challenges, let's say example, next level leadership, you're looking for people who come from MLM, the, uh, direct sales, uh, affiliate marketing, real estate, and nonprofits, 
Um, you know, I've had two pastors in the past two, three weeks come in here and tell me how much they lost members in their, uh, in their and I, and I, first thing I asked them, like, how are you uh, reach, reaching out to your community? How did I learn that? It wasn't for me, okay? I learned it from Mr. Chad Shapiro, okay? So what, I, what, what it is, is I, and I had to understand, I started asking questions. What's your challenge? What's your frustrations? So understanding if you want to attract those leaders, believe me, lead, there's some people that want to be leaders, but they don't have the tools that we have here. So you, if you know their, their frustrations and their challenges, then you can solve them. As entrepreneurs, we solve problems, right? So start by solving other people's problems and see how what happens to you. Okay, there's a quote that talks about helping as many people as you can in life and yours will automatically come. Can you guys agree? So it's about serving. All right, let's go to the next one, uh, which is number four. What are their goals and priorities? You see how I didn't say what are your goals? Your goal is to find, get, find five leaders this month. Yes, but it's not about us. It's about, you see how, you know, it, it's, it's so funny that when I was listening to Mr. Chad Shapiro's training, he was talking about, you know, serving and, and doing all these things and the skills and, and everything. But it, what these questions that I'm asking here, they're not for you. There are, what are their goals and what are their priorities? Are there goals to start up a business? Other goals, maybe I started, I ran and uh, I'm doing a, a network marketing company, but I have no training, no leadership. That's the frustration that they have. So what's your goal? My goal is to build a team, right? Isn't that the person you would want here and listening to this? Right, 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 yes. Oh my God, I love it, I love it. And I'm only half, not even halfway there. All right, next one is going to be, um, let's see, and it is number five, which is what brands do they listen to? What, what, what brands do they like, okay? So in next level leadership, let's see, and look at yourself and then compare to other people. What brands do they like? Do they like the brand Tony Robbins? Why don't you grab in at Tony Robbins' Facebook, his post, and start putting some of those people into your network? Right? So those are the things that, that you need to understand is how to bring leaders into your industry. There's so many ways, guys. It's called, it's called business hacking. Go watch what other people are doing, and I'm not saying copy them, but mirror that. Mirror, if they've already been successful, why are we trying to reinvent the wheel? Man, I'm so guilty of that. I always try to reinvent the wheel. I want to make it better, better, bigger, and stronger than ever. The new, new six million dollar man. It, for what? There's no reason behind it. It's already been created. The leadership's already been created. Look at this. Why am I going to go over there tomorrow and try to make a new next level leadership? Next level leadership point one point oh. Why? We already have the best of the best. Just what? What? In other words, instead of thinking how do you can recreate it, how can you bring value into it? Right. And to get to, uh, together, we do it better than doing it by ourselves, right? But that's why you want to try to find those people. What do they like? What are the preferred methods of commun uh, communication? In other words, are they more often going to Google things? Or are they more often going into Facebook, right? Are they more, uh, maybe the communication method, some of them here in, you know, uh, I used to do that a lot. I will go into network uh, network mixers. Whatever the method of communication is, you need to understand where they're at, what, what communication they are. See how we're studying other people, we're not studying ourselves, we're not that great. We're not that great. We need to understand people. Sales, marketing is a psychology. And I wasn't that great to understand that one either. That was just learned, okay? So I'm just sharing, pa passing the things out. Have you guys noticed that Tuesdays and Thursdays, you know, so many times we talk about next level leadership, mental, 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 and sometimes we, we, we repeat and we repeat and we talk about the fan page and we, why? Because of the numbers that he put in there. By the time we're done, by tomorrow, if you didn't write these questions down, you're not going to have them. 
So should I start over again so you guys can write them down? Just kidding. What are the preferred methods of communication? Okay, the next one, guys. What phrases exact in exact language do they use? And I put US, but it's use, okay? So what I mean by this, all right, so, and I, and I wrote this one, this was number seven. I read an article that was talking about you having to talk to people in marketing and if you're doing a Facebook Live or if, you, if you're uh, doing a content on Facebook or wherever you're doing it, that you have to use a seventh grade language. What? So that means if I talk to you about um, the search engine optimization does this and whatever, and I, well, half of you guys will be like, oh, let me go get me some coffee, right? So, and I've learned that, so that way I understand that, that what I'm explaining it to you guys, I got this training from somebody else, but I'm trying to put it at a different level so that we can all understand. It's not that we have seventh grade mentality, is that people understand better like that. So when we're very at their level, what phrases exact do they use? That's very powerful, right? Um, one of the things, and, and think about why, and phrases and exact language. Because if I talk about next level leadership, and I have, let's just say, a landing page, right? And a landing page talks about join my next level leadership uh, training. Who is that attracting to? Anybody. But if you know what your customer is, let's say, example, I know what my customer is from age um, 17 to 30 because there's some great leaders who are millennials, right? So that language has to be different than if I'm speaking to a person who's 35 and over. Totally different conversation. So it has to be two and has to be different market, different strategy and talking to two different, to, the, to two people about the same service in different language. Does that make sense? Can you guys agree with me on that? It's powerful. We need to understand language. And we need to understand that, like if I'm gonna talk to a mom about next level leadership, how would you talk to her about that? You can't tell her how awesome, you know, uh, you know, we do a hundred thousand, you know, million followers and this and then she's like, what, what does that have to do with anything? Because they don't understand the basics of leadership. They don't understand. If you go, go try to tell somebody that's not in leadership and tell them about, you're going to start at the bottom of the ladder and they're going to look around and look for that ladder, right? Because <laughs> they don't understand. So language, language, you know, even I was guilty of that. At first, the first time I heard him say that, I was like, what do you mean by that? It was the language, but it was so powerful and impacting to me that now I use it all the time, right? You got to start at the bottom of the ladder and climb your way up to success. Thank you, Mr. Chad Shapiro, for sharing that with me. <laughs> Say, number eight, what is their budget? I see it all the time, guys. I even seen that the other day and somebody came and told me. So uh, if, you, if you have an entrepreneur that cannot invest in themselves and cannot have a marketing strategy, you don't have a business. You have to invest in your business. Most of us want everything for free. But the level of free, if you understand, and I'm sure since you guys are a lot of leaders, you probably get, um, get fed a lot of information about leadership in your, in your Facebook feed, right? And most of them give you a free PDF, a free ebook, a free everything, right? And then most people stop there. But I thank you for the information. If you're not going farther to understand why are they selling me that and do I need it and how will I be able to impact my business, my team, by investing in myself before I go try to build a team, you got to invest in yourself. In the past six months, I think I spent almost $6,000 in investing in myself. Why? Better, I got to better myself. How can I become a leader? How can I make my team so powerful? If I don't have the skills that I need and teach them all this stuff. So what is their budget? You need to understand their budget because if you're talking to a person, a stay-at-home mom who does not have the budget, they don't care about next level leadership. That makes sense? But in entrepreneurs, understand the power of investing in themselves. And I know all of us in here, we do that.
what does this day what does a day in the life look like in other words you need to understand your target market because you need to understand that customer maybe a stay-at-home mom right so what's her time like well maybe she takes her kids to school in the morning and then her time for work you know is you know for some time throughout the day maybe they are working eight to five and they will just work in this part-time so you have to understand hey i'm looking for part-timers hey i'm looking for full-timers well you can't throw that out there to both targets because you get frustrated you're like i don't get no answer nobody likes me it's not that you nobody likes you you're amazing the problem is the content that we're putting we're putting in front of the wrong people when i learned that i really stopped i was very huge at posting just anything anywhere i really was so i'm guilty of it okay um and that's why i wanted to change that and to, uh, for me to change that i had to go and find out seek that information who can help me understand that marketing strategy right and the last one is this what makes them happy guys if you find a customer what Think about this. Why do I look so forward to these trainings? And I'm always, I'm happy. I don't know if it's here or not, but I look, I, see, you have to be happy. But that he, this leadership stuff makes me happy. Serving you makes me happy. So he found, Mr. Chachapir found that, that he could make me happy by giving me this, by letting me be part of this. Now I'm here forever, right? As long as that. As long as I'm not taking, right? But but you know, as 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 far as I can go. But here's the thing: you got to think about the same thing about your customer. What do, can you do to that customer to make them happy? Maybe they want to lose weight. Maybe they're in a business and they cannot seem to get out of that rut, like they call it maybe because they need some leadership skills maybe because they need some skills maybe because we haven't invited them to something like next level leadership does that make sense i hope uh that anything i can say that i can empower your business because i know we have a lot of business owners here a lot of stay-at-home moms a lot of you know network marketers direct sales real estate agents whatever your business is you're just that that much away from being successful you have to keep on pushing um one of the things that i do want to say and and i just so you see, I understand i was listening to mr chat Shapiro was mr marwan power he has been and i know what he does in the in, in the back office in the back in the background and everything such a humble humble person that he is and i i'm personally thanking him for everything that you do mr marwan power I appreciate you, and I know the whole entire team uh, appreciates what you do, um, Mr. Chat Shapiro, for your leadership, for your skills, for all those people that are stepping up to be trainers like Adrian, uh, powerful training, all those things that you're doing, it, do them to serve people. And I promise you that yours will automatically come. Because as I started doing this training and putting this note together, I learned and I grew. Just, just by being in front of you guys, I grew and I learned, okay? And it, so it wasn't about me. It's about other people, okay? Your gift is not for you. Your gift is for you to share it with people. So let's continue to do that. Um, we're going to go next to uh, Mr. Marwan Powell, who is amazing, amazing, amazing. Uh, Mr. Chachapil, we still have some more stuff coming up, guys, but... You know, I, I, the, the great thing about when I came on is that I came under the number one and then over the number one. So I'm like the middle one, right? And I got the, the, the best of the best and the best of the best. So they, they sandwich me in here somehow. And I love it. I love it. Thank you so much, guys. I hope those 10 steps will help you understand your customer. And with that, Mr. Marwan Power, take it away. Oh man, thank you 